In Professor Balthazar's town, it was summer. One day, Tony was the first of the professor's exhausted visitors. He wasn't able to tell the professor exactly what had happened. A series of unusual visits began. Only after consuming enormous quantities of liquid refreshments were the visitors in a condition to relate their troubles. And this is what had happened. Dryville had been without rain for five months. Daniel the Cloud, who was responsible for supplying Dryville with rain, had left that year on his annual holiday, which took him on a trip round the world. This time, however, he hadn't returned, and all attempts to find him were in vain. The situation was dry indeed. The citizens were plagued by all sorts of hallucinations. <coughs> Some tried to make do as best they could. Local barflies, those haters of non-alcoholic liquids, were desperately crying, Water! Water! <laughs> Many individuals whose occupations depended on water waited in long queues in front of the employment office. A delegation from the Sahara in the city on an official visit was horrified by the conditions and cut short its stay, not even waiting to sign the joint declaration. This, then, was the state of affairs in Dryville. Professor Balthazar thought and thought and thought and came up with an idea. The invention was there. The journey to Dryville could begin immediately. The first task was to discover where Daniel the Cloud was. And so the professor set up his radar cloud tracker. Turning it on, he began to scan the infinite number of clouds around the globe. And 
the arrow pointed to England. The professor immediately set out. He first travelled over the ocean. When he flew into the fog over England, he landed and continued his search on foot. And all of a sudden, <laughs> Professor Balthazar, what a surprise, cried out none other than Daniel the Clown. He told the professor how he had wandered into the dreadful English fog and for months had not been able to find his way out of it. Professor Balthazar suggested that they start off for home together. Having finally gotten out of the fog, Daniel felt like a new cloud. Arriving home, they bid each other a fond farewell. In Dryville, there was rejoicing everywhere. From time to time, the professor sent Tony with a book for Daniel to help him pass the time. Sometimes it was a funny book, and Daniel, who had a very well-developed sense of humor, laughed till he cried. <laughs> then, Dryville was in an entirely different kind of trouble. <laughs> 